This is the end zone. Make sure to subscribe. Also, hit that bell for notifications. Join the squad. Let's move the chains. And Teddy Bridgewater, speaking of moving, he's going to Carolina to play under Matt Rule, new coach for the Panthers. But that means there's going to be a guy who's going to have to leave, and that is Cam Newton. He's going to have to be traded out of Carolina uh, sooner or later. I have a feeling he's going to be in a different uniform by the end of all this free agency frenzy and trading frenzy because, you know, the NFL is just getting turned over and lots of players are going on teams I would have never suspected. But let's talk about Cam Newton and the three teams that Cam could possibly end up at by next year. And if I miss any, make sure to comment down below which teams you think have a good shot and why. All right, starting at number three, the LA Chargers. And they're at number three because Anthony Lynn and the Chargers organization came out and said that Tyrod Taylor is their guy. Now, Tyrod Taylor is probably considered a veteran by now. I mean, uh, he did do well with the Bills and they know how the Browns win. Now he finds himself as the starter in Los Angeles. The real question is, are the Chargers gonna try and draft a young quarterback to learn under Tyrod Taylor? Or are they gonna go all in and bring in Cam Newton? Now, if you're Anthony Lynn, uh, you probably need to win now because he had a horrible season. You know, nobody goes to these LA games. They really need to turn things around. It might be a smart decision to bring in Cam Newton, spice some things up because they tried to bring in Tom Brady. Obviously, that didn't work out for Los Angeles. I, I think Cam Newton's your next best bet to win you football games. He's electric. He's a great runner. He's a great quarterback. And... Honestly, I think you'll win more games than drafting a quarterback to learn under Tyrod Taylor, but hey, that's just my opinion. And at number two, we have the Patriots. The Patriots are kind of in quarterback limbo right now, and I can't believe I'm saying this because forever they have always been stable at the quarterback position, and you know, basically this week they've kind of just been turned around. They have Jared Stidham. But is he going to be the face of the franchise, Jared Stidham? Apparently, he's been playing well in practices like ever since he's got on the team. But is he really going to be the face of a franchise again with the New England Patriots? Could Cam Newton potentially be a Patriot? Yes, it sounds exciting. I mean, there's not really much on this offense that is very attractive for a quarterback like Cam Newton. But obviously, you have Bill Belichick as the head coach, but will Bill Belichick and Cam Newton butt heads? I'm willing to bet that they would. Those are two very different personalities, and I just do not know how the chemistry in the locker room would work with that coach and quarterback combination. I don't think it would actually end well, although Cam Newton is such a good playmaker. Could Bill Belichick make him into the quarterback that many people want to see him at? You know, he's been kind of a letdown past couple of years. Can he get back to that MVP status he was in his early years in the National Football League with a coach like Bill Belichick? You know, it's certainly possible. And at number one, we have the Washington Redskins. Now, there are two main reasons why I think Cam Newton could go to Washington. First, let's get this out of the way. Ron Rivera is the head coach in Washington. He is brand new, and he was the head coach of Carolina when Cam Newton was very successful and kind of in his later years. I'm willing to bet that it has crossed Ron Rivera's mind by now of getting Cam Newton because he's inheriting Dwayne Haskins, a quarterback that he may not like. And when you search Dwayne Haskins on Google, and you know, there's really no surprise. Lots of the players on the team, the staff, there's not really much trust in Haskins as a quarterback. And the buzz around Haskins just is not good. Could Cam Newton come in because of this negativity around Haskins? I mean, I don't think that it's that far out of left field. Anyways, the Washington Redskins, in my opinion, are a poorly run organization anyways. It wouldn't surprise me at all, honestly, if they got Cam Newton after drafting a quarterback the year before. Because they're just so poorly run, I do feel like they would make that decision. And I mean, I guess if Ron Rivera 
really wants to turn things around there. Uh, he's got to put his foot down to make decisions for himself. Does he want Dwayne Haskins as his franchise quarterback? I think he could bring in Cam Newton and win more games than you would with Dwayne Haskins with Washington. Let me know what you think down below. Is this list good? Would you make it a different order? Do you have any other teams possibly that would fit Cam Newton? I'm kind of surprised the Bears went for Nick Foles and not Cam Newton. I guess the timing didn't really work out well, but I feel like Cam Newton would have been a great fit at the Bears. Again, that is just my opinion. Thanks for watching The End Zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment as always so we can move the chains.